Hello everyone, I'm, I'm just recording a random video here. I just decided just now that I, now is a great time to record a video. I'm sitting in my backyard. A lot of people live here, so I might pause the video if someone walks by and I feel uncomfortable. Uh, just so you know what's happening. Uh, but I wanted to talk about uh, being grateful for what you already have and balance, balancing that with a lot of ambition. So it's about striving for more but being grateful for what you already have so especially on twitch i feel like it's so easy to get caught up in chasing the numbers chasing more viewers more followers more subscribers and uh, we should do that we should strive for things and we should we should set up goals for ourselves to uh, motivate us and push ourselves and uh, reveal more of our own potential so that's great. It's great to have goals. It's great to set up a new follower goal and a new subscriber goal and try to get more viewers and and set, you know, milestones to keep you motivated, to keep make you feel like you can do it uh, and push yourself a little bit more to get there. Uh, that's great. Um, but uh, I think most of the time we don't really work <laughs> that way we, that's not really how we feel and think about numbers and followers and goals it's very easy to get caught up in stressing in, in stress and worry and negative thinking like comparing yourself to others like I'm not good enough look at this channel look at that person they're more successful they're more popular they're better than me uh, or I'm not doing well enough I ha I worked I tried it but I failed <laughs> uh, all these thoughts negative thoughts can come up um, when we focus too much on the goals and numbers uh, so that's why I also want to talk about how you can balance and balance your ambition with grati gratitude uh, and I chose gratitude but it, it could be really just you know <laughs> we could call it uh, positive thinking we can call it uh, just not caring too darn much about numbers <laughs> uh, in the end the goal is to balance the ambition with gratitude for what you already have so that you can keep performing so you can keep growing as a person so you can keep setting up new goals and not get exhausted or drain yourself or hit a wall and you know burn out uh, and that's, I call it, uh, you can call it gratitude, you can call it whatever. So what does it mean to be grateful for what you already have? So when I started out on Twitch, I was just like everyone else and zero viewers, uh, you know, uh, few followers, little, like little of everything, you know? And when you're at the bottom and you look up and like, ah, the Twitch mountain, hallelujah, the Twitch mountain, you can see on top of the Twitch mountain, there are the gods, ninja, <laughs> all the big streamers, everyone is better than you, basically. And maybe you're motivated, uh, but okay, anyway, for me, I, I, I was motivated, you know, I wanted to do it, I thought I could do something, I, I thought it was fun, I wanted to grow on Twitch, uh, and... Um, and when I was at the bottom, I was looking at channels that had 10 viewers, like almost averaging 10 viewers uh, most of the time. I was like, <laughs> wow, 10 viewers in average watching your stream? You, you made it. You're successful. You made it. Wow. Even five viewers, three viewers to get affiliate, three viewers all the time, like in average? Of your stream wow oh my god and and then you keep streaming if you keep it up you keep it up you market yourself you do try to improve your stream improve your own yourself so you're a better streamer uh, you keep at it time pass and maybe you hit that goal you hit that three average viewers wow and you're like yes for like a second for one second you are grateful for one second you celebrate for one second you're happy and then you're like, how about five viewers? How about 10 viewers? And you, and you start thinking about the next goal. And you start to think about the next milestone. And so then as soon as that, 
you hit that milestone, you start thinking about the next one, and you start maybe you start focusing too much on on it and compare it yourself too much to other channels, and then you're back in the cycle uh, of the bad habit of uh, focusing too much on the numbers. Uh, so taking time and uh, really it, like during the process, like so whatever you do, there's a process to get to your goal, right? And the process is 95%, 99% of what you're doing. You're spending 99% time in the process of something and 1% hitting the goal. And then what does it mean? It means that if you're spending 99% of your time focusing too much on, the, on trying to get to the goal, the end result, the 1%, you're really like, you, you will be miserable in the end, probably, I don't know. But if you push yourself too hard and only focus, like, you, know, you focus too much on the ambition and not, you, know, you don't spend time during the process to make sure that you're happy, that you're having fun, that you're improving, uh, and, and, and being grateful for what you already have. That is, that's what's going to make you successful. That is what's making you feel successful on the inside. And that will, in turn, you know, realize in, a, in, in meeting those goals eventually. Uh, balancing ambition with gratitude. What do you think about all this? <laughs> Thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day. Love you. Bye.